What killed the Ice Age? The dinosaurs! That doesn't make any sense, but we'll go with it! Let, welcome to Let's Play Bots and Kaitos. We're getting ready to leave the snowy city of Cursa. And head Cursa for... Cursa this city? Yeah, Cursa this city. <laughs> and we are headed towards the Imperial Fortress to rescue Callus from the taint of Malpertio. <laughs> taint. <laughs> Claim someone tainted by the breath of the evil god. Oh, so much for that. <laughs> so much for that. Someone taken by the darkness. In order to save the world, you'll just have to give up on him. It's hopeless. No, she can't give up on him because this is all a gooey love story. <laughs> uh, you gotta it's love. Like, you gotta love romance-based plots, right? So this is what the world looks like. The world. That thing in the middle is Malpertio's evil castle. That recently materialized in the sky. Yep. So what idiot decided these form Pokemon today should be tentacle? Uh, <laughs> the random number generator? Why didn't you tell us we're the queen of Wazen? <laughs> oh, I love what I love what Lotacon does here. Wazen. 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 Sound like you're from Cleveland. Wazen. Though we didn't know of your status, I apologize for any discourtesy shown. <laughs> Way to cover your ass. <laughs> Please, King Ladakan. I'm just Shella, the same as I've always been. No, you're Queen Shella. Append it to her title right now. Even though the other one, even though like Ladakan doesn't have King on his nameplate no, right there. Who must thank you for your tremendous help, oh, Queen of Shella. <laughs> With you on our side, there is still hope, your height. Shella. <laughs> <laughs> You seem pretty awkward, my lord. He's he's like so he's got like right into calling her um, queen. I suppose I'm in a bit of a difficult situation. <laughs> I like how she laughs and Is that Lou's rape fish? <laughs> yes. We're just going through all of their laughter, <laughs> bit by bit, <laughs> line by line. Line by line, laughter, <laughs> laughter, <laughs> and our response is laughter. Yes, for now, I can be Shella, just Shella. When I'm here, I can forget about what I am. The burden I carry is the Ice Queen. That you're not going to know about until literally the what ending cutscene. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow is the day. Tomorrow, we will know. Oh yeah, by the way, the game doesn't read your uh, name, it just puts a space there. Yeah, I mean, how could it? Whether we can save Callus from the taint of Malpertio, <laughs> Barnett said it's possible to free someone from the curse. Kind of like calling Mass Effect, everyone conveniently, conveniently calls you by your last name. Right? Yeah. Oh, you can choose your first name but not your last? Yes. Sure, well, isn't one. that convenient? Thanks. You <laughs> have no idea how much better I feel with you here. <laughs> Let's get it all we've got tomorrow. Oh, okay, also something else we should explain. Um, whenever you're posed questions by the person you're bonded to, if you answer something that they take favorably, then it increases your chance of getting a spirit attack, which will kind of just randomly appear, and they do ridiculous amounts of damage. Godspeed. Yeah, so apparently I lied. Uh, we are not going to the Imperial Fortress quite yet. We went to uh, a new anyway first. Now we're going to the Imperial Fortress. Well, yeah, I think the plot just took us here, right? Yeah, pretty much. We got carried by the plot. So we got, now we, we are, got kidnapped by the plot. So now <laughs> we are in the Rainbow Jungle Nation of Anue Anue. Oh wow. It's actually it's probably one of my favorites visually. Yeah. It looks nice. It, it looks nice. It's not my favorite. My favorite's the Empire. I mean, I, well, yeah, like once you see the Empire, the Empire looks cool. I just would rather live here. 
I would also rather not live in the Empire. <laughs> Even as much as I love as much as I love the country. Okay, see? <laughs> Here's what I mean by shopkeepers looking ridiculous. Scientists are unable to identify whether there is a plant or an animal. <laughs> Ooh, marvelous. It's a Bulbasaur! Wait, we can buy swords? That's peculiar. No, it's an ivy sword. <laughs> sword. You better be sore. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how to take that. We're talking about uh, in Brawl. In Brawl, when I, I we saw guys. Oh. Also, if you want to know what the fox is, just listen to Fox when he dies in melee. What? <laughs> <laughs> that is what the fox says. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, have you seen that video? No. Okay. Oh, well, so we, we get to you that. Yeah, we were originally gonna have you and Alex and have a reaction video to it, but Shadow couldn't make it. Shadow. Shadow. So All both the problems that we're having at this recording, we're blaming on Shadow. Both Redix and I are wearing fox shirts. Yeah, we are. Redix pointed that out. Oh. <laughs> and here I am in a Team Rocket shirt. <laughs> Alright, so, welcome to the Empire, where shit has hit the fan, because this is where the Malpertio Servant's evil headquarters are. Yep. And now the city has been occupied by said servants. Oh no. But, as you can tell, uber steampunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, all the way uber steampunk. It and it's basically... also playing the oh shit music. It, it also kind of makes sense as to why Lude's weapon looks the way it does. Yes. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's pretty awesome that he uses like a horn as a weapon. <laughs> it's the uh, Imperial Capital. I can also use my trombone as a weapon with how bad they play. Speaking of that. No, don't do it. Don't, don't do, do it. it. Don't do it, why not do it? I haven't played, I haven't played it since school like three months ago. No, like four months ago. Huh? Exactly. It's probably a good thing, dude. I'm just gonna do some scales. I have a feeling that the next few minutes of the recording are going to be trombone. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Well, have you ever heard someone use like that, like if someone something's bone, then it's kind of like screwed? Yeah, 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 but not too often. Oh. It's it's not a very common phrase. Okay. So sure, you're but... making a really bad pun. Yes, I was making a really bad pun. I knew that just from this tone. <laughs> Do that while he's doing an ascending combo. Okay. <laughs> while loot is. Yeah. <laughs> you just have to pay attention. Now Bob's just that. sitting here in front of the TV with a trombone, just chilling. Because <laughs> that's how we do. Too easy. I agree, that was too easy. Oh, Gagarak. That's what the Malpertio people are called. Gagarak. I'm sorry, but I can't get up. I saved your life, and you're not even going to give me a Magnus. <laughs> Okay, really? You're expecting to get a Magnus from someone? That is a really weird place to have a piece of dialogue. <laughs> Damn it. It's, it's, yeah, it's the next one down. Wait, is there like a Magnus? Somewhere? <laughs> what? Well, that's stupid. <laughs> that is like the most contrived hiding place ever. How would you think to go back there? By looking it up online. Who found that in the first place, though, is what I want to know. I don't know, but they probably wore a fedora. What's wrong with fedoras? <laughs> Never mind. Have you, haven't you ever been on 4chan at all? Seen anything from 4chan? Yes. They do not have high regard for people who wear fedoras. What's wrong with fedoras? They're cool. Alex is the only one here, here who wears a fedora. I have to yeah, and even before. he doesn't, and he does not fall into that stereotype. He hates My Little Pony with the burning passion of a thousand suns. <laughs> he has a bunch of friends that are girls, and he doesn't care. So he doesn't care about getting friend zoned, as they say. Yes. But he still wears that fedora, and it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> what, what do people have against fedoras? Jeez. <laughs> It's kind of a stereotype, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm really not much of a bad person, but whatever. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three one, Switch two, three. to the other three at the last second. 
And I believe these guys are weak to light. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so yeah, so type weaknesses kind of apply in the same way of Pokemon, where fire and water are opposite, so are it's opposites. not in the same way as Pokemon. I guess, yeah, I guess so, yeah, like fire is good against water, water is good against fire. Oh. Uh, then you have light and dark, which are good against each other, and you have Kronos and wind. And you have <laughs> time and wind, which are good against each other. You know, makes sense of that. <laughs> yeah. And I think it's kind of dumb, they could have done something like lightning or maybe earth. The opposite of you wind. Can't, you can't call on the power of the Earth, though, because the Earth is non-existent. But they're standing on Earth. Yeah, that's why I would have gone with stone, personally. Could have gone stone. That would make sense for a Pokemon <laughs> new boy. Stone's good against flying. Stone blow! That's just sounds Alright, Bob, get ready. Okay. Playing position. Hey, He's attacking now. Oh my god! <laughs> look, look at the oh god, we might have to <laughs> we might have to quiet that down a bit on the recording. Recording. <laughs> You're gonna have the trombone violet duet. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. That'll sound so beautiful. <laughs> CK, you never really played an instrument, did you? I played the trumpet a bit in elementary school. Okay, you never really stuck with it. No. I forget about Alex. Did he play anything? I don't think he did. No. Okay. He's not an instr in instrumentalist. He's not one of us. <laughs> You know what, Alex? We're firing you or replacing you with Evan. <laughs> what did Evan play again? I keep forgetting. Baritone. Baritone. I like how these guys just kind of have like swords. It looks cool. Ooh, golden bugle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think the trombo is yeah. going to sleep now. Bye. All our viewers are like, yay! <laughs> yay! <laughs> I'll put you back to my closet for another four months. See, I'm not so lucky if I don't It's not play... the only thing in your closet. Boom. <laughs> if I don't play my violin for like four months, I have to go through like rigorous tuning to get it back into shape. Yeah. Yes, the monsters are gone. Except for you. Dun dun dun! So, uh, do you get anything for, like, saving people, or is that completely optional? Apparently you don't get anything for saving people. I'm expecting these people to give me Magnus for it, but they're not. <gasps> people of Mintaka are very selfish. RPG cliche. <laughs> Expect people to give you things. No, that's just a natural reaction to get being used to an RPG cliche. Yeah, exactly. It's like, why aren't you giving me something? I saved your life. Can't you at least give me a card? No rewards for you. Let's see what's in Lude's house. Uh, we can go back and get that Agnes, can't we? We already got it. Oh, we already got it. Yeah, like, yeah that's Intermezzo. The first, yeah, the first time you go, you go here, uh, there's a Magnus, but there's a cutscene, so you can't get it. <laughs> so you can just see the tre treasure chest, but you can't do anything about it. And that actually happens with it, with other ones in the game too. That sounds incredibly frustrating. Energy wave. Wait, we're getting cards for Callus? What? That makes no sense. He's not in our party. He's definitely not going to rejoin the party, is he? Yeah, it's <laughs> he pretty much. The game's pretty much spoiled for you by you. this point. Yeah, because you get cards that are for Callus. <laughs> it's like, what's the point of giving me cards for Callus if he's not going to be in the party? Oh, wait. <laughs> I guess that works. You could have gone for all sixes, but whatever. Also, 666, six, six, the unholy combo. Did he pull a Zellos? Callus? Yeah. Not quite, no. Because he actually intended to... He he intended to resurrect Malpertio in order to gain power. It's always for power, isn't it? Yep. Power corrupts. And knowledge is power, so study hard, kids. Be evil. 
<laughs> he's using it on himself. He's uh, using drugs! <laughs> he's using drugs. It'd be really funny if he died before the next turn. Please make that happen. I'll try. To make him look like a fool. You could have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 combo. Just saying. There, see, you do drugs, you get spanked. And then you get blinded by the light. Blinded by the light. Yes, that's what I'm going for. Wrapped Good up job. like a douche in the middle of the night. Yes, that was what I was going for. Thank you. <laughs> squid. No squid. Yeah, you know, that's really freaky. Huh. Freaky? No, freaky. Oh, freaky, okay. The fact that we're on a roof right now? Yes. No, we're not on a roof. No. We're not on the roof. Okay. Anymore. We could have been. You know what? We're saving that person. No, because we're not going to save that person. We're going to we're going to talk to a very very special citizen of Mintaka. Do you know who I'm talking about? The spoiled little bitch. Oh, okay. Anyways, what's freaky? Uh, if you put like a, a dead squid in salt, it'll oh, move. Yeah. <laughs> it's so freaky. Dead, but it's moving. That happens with quite a few other, like, detached insect or animal limbs. So basically, this is like the ultimate young Republican who thinks he's better than everyone else. <laughs> That's all you have to say? Yeah. Darn it. Uh, uh, elitism. Isn't it great, children? Oh, you mean the soldiers that are, that are that that we just saw getting dying. the soldiers that we just saw getting annihilated when we entered the city? Yeah, they'll save you. Let's kill this one. Just for the lols. Are you ready to die? I hope you are, because you will be. Surprise! There are actually two of them. Yeah, that happens. There can any, there can be anywhere from one to three. Yeah, you've noticed by now. Yes. If you had noticed, then well. I'd be disappointed in you. But it's kind of like a... Let's see... I forget what... There are certain games where like there are monsters on the world map, but then you go into battle and the monsters are nothing like the ones you encounter on the world map. Yeah. Tales of Symphonia? Yeah, like that. You gotta love... You gotta love those RPGs. Or the ones with random encounters. Those are the best. Okay, so you know how in Tales of Symphonia, and a lot of other RPGs actually, but... As an example that we all know, Tales of Symphonia, the world map, you go to the top, and then you come out, out back in the same place at the bottom, and if you go to the side yeah. of the map, you come back to the same other place on the yeah. opposite side. Yeah, well, that can actually, that, sh that, that shape of map can't actually be wrapped into a sphere. Yeah, I know. It can only be I've tried to visualize it, and it doesn't work. Yeah, it, yeah, Taurus. <laughs> so it a donut work. shape. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. You so, can't do that. <laughs> I guess. Tales of Symphonia spoilers here, but I guess. The world is flat? I guess Yggdrasil really liked Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> the world is a toroid. <laughs> hey, w wait, what What if, like. What if, uh. Show me how well the two doing. worlds are just, like, two different sides of, like, a halo? You know, like a giant, just a giant ring? Oh, that actually something. Would be cool. <laughs> I don't know. That that'd be interesting. They're just like on like two sides of the same coin. You know, that'd be cool. But we should probably talk about this game. <laughs> yeah, which, we should. Which only takes place in one world. It's not as good. It only takes place. That in one whatever world. fucking world Mira goes to. Uh, yeah, Mira. Uh, how best to describe Mira? Acid trip. <laughs> That's pretty much Mira. <laughs> Hardcore decking! You're all decked out now. Shit. I hope we don't get decked. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna make a quick trip to Aza because the shop sells Aquaburst level 4. Ah! Out of my way, you. Aza Village. Pigeon children. This, this theme gets reused in, I think, three other places. Yeah. Although, and all of the places are can be 
<laughs> Name worked be... worked into the like the lyrics of it to like Oz a village. Yeah. It's this stupid Trail thing I made up when I was souls. fourteen. And since like we played it together, or since we played it together before, we both do it. <laughs> I don't do it anymore, you do it. <laughs> it's infectious. Does she have a goatee? Yes. Yes. She <laughs> has, has a, a goatee. goatee. <laughs> Oh dear me, she has a goatee. Shut up. So apparently they did not have any Apple Burst level 4s, at least not that I know of, at least not that I saw.